Welcome back to Morrowind, Game of the Year edition, and today we're going to be finding the Moon and Star of Azura. So, let's look at our quest real quick. I passed the Warrior's Test. Now I must find, uh, now I must find the Cavern of the Incarnate, a secret place sacred to Azura, and look for the Moon and Star of the Prophecies. To find the Cavern of the Incarnate, I must solve a riddle. And, um, yeah, so, let's seek counsel from the tribes. So what I'm going to do is go over here to Xanamu's and talk to Xanamu. Let's see here. Eye of the Needle. This token of our tribe, Malupi Atman's belt, is proof of Sumatul's blessing. Let me think. Perhaps you mean the needle. It is a tall rock column in the Valley of the Wind. I have slept beneath it once or twice. The Valley of the Wind is a valley on the northeast slopes of Red Mountain. The entrance to the valley is marked by Arian's teeth, two tall rock spires. Okay, do you have anything else for me? Uh, valley of the Wind and Arian's teeth. So let's go to Arian's teeth first. Arian's teeth are two spires. It's at the mouth of the Valley of the Wind. The Valley of the Wind runs south from the sea to the northeast of Arden Fell. Uh, east of Dwemer Bethuand. East of Daedric Zerganipal. We stay away from the valley. The winds howl and the spirits are always awake. Dereleth, ancestral tomb, is in this valley. It is foolish to disturb the spirits in their resting place. Alright, Valley of the Wind. There are two valleys side by side on the northeast slope to Red Mountain. The westmost valley is called Dry Camp Valley. The camps have no water, but they are sheltered from the wind. Dun Ah caverns are also there. The Valley of the Wind is the eastmost valley. It runs along the strait south between Arian's teeth the climbs and climbs towards Red Mountain. The mouths of these valleys are to the east along the coast, past Bathand and Dwemer a Dwemer ruin and just past Zerganapal, a Daedric ruin, turn south. Alright, skin of the pearl. You bear that guy's belt. This is important, just a moment. You mentioned the needle in the Valley of the Wind. I recall at the top of that tall spire is not white, but much lighter than other rocks nearby. The head of the Valley of Wind sits right under the needle. It is a good, safe campground sheltered from the wind. With only one approach, that whitish rock at the top of the needle, that might be the pearl you're looking for. Teeth of the wind. You might bear bear that. I will share what I know. Hmm. I know no place that, of this name, but there is a place called Ari's Teeth in the Valley of the Wind. Sarat spires mark the entrance to the Valley of the Wind, and they bear the name of the seer, Arian, when blessed by Azura. Alright. So we know that. Let's see, did she mark anything on our map? Hopefully. Is that place? Zerganapal. So she marked Zerganapal on our map, which is good. Did she do Bethal, Buthand or something like that? No? Alright, so we got Zerganapal at the very least. Now let's go back to this and see what it said. Let's see. Valley of the Wind is a valley on the northeast slopes of Red Mountain. May you find all that you seek, traveler. Just past Sarganapal, turn south. Alright, so we need to go south from Sarganapal. 
So we need to go over here to Voss. I guess we'll just go to Voss. So to get the Voss, we're gonna go to Sidrith Mora and take the boats. Oh man. With hit the, pleasure. Hit Please the wrong place. Go ahead. I'm How delightful. Welcome. Do you want something? this about So there's a lot of things that change in the game after the Moon and Star quest. Like uh, certain factions stop liking you. So you might want to, uh, if you haven't at this point joined all the factions you want to join, you might want to go join them before doing this quest. Uh, because they might not let you in if you wait until after this quest. And um, I'm not sure that they will after this quest in all honesty. Like. Uh, now, we're only focusing on the four that we're already in, uh, which is House Telvanni, uh, the Temple, uh, Mage's Guild, and Talk Imperial Cult. Long, you decide. So, uh, we're not worried about that, yes, but just as a warning before uh, you do this. And you take the boat to tell Mora and then to tell or to Voss. So if you didn't know that already. And we're gonna go all the way over here. Um, to go this route, you are gonna have to fly over a mountain range, I think. Uh, so, well, don't quote me on that, but I think you're gonna have to fly over a mountain range. And there tends to be Daedra in this field, so. If you're not pretty strong, you might have a problem at some points, but there are like a, in this field over here, uh, Daedra will spawn and just randomly uh, wander about, along with a bunch of other monsters too, but you can get things as strong as uh, Golden Saint in this field. Four rats on the mountain. It's probably blighted. Yep. There's a scamp. So first, uh, Daedra.
Ogrim Titan over there along with the Aelit and a Kagudi. Let's go over here and take out this Ogrim. It's either an Ogrim or an Ogrim Titan. I don't know which one it is. So, they look just alike almost. So, I think this is a Titan. I think this is a titan because I think the uh, the ring on its nipple indicates that. Or no, it doesn't actually. So, hmm. And there's a uh, Dwemer rune that might be the Dwemer rune we were looking for. Come down here and check real quick. No, this is Nutch left. Alright, well. Boots of the Apostle are hands down some of the most useful equipment in the game, in my opinion. It allows you to bypass a lot of stuff that you'd otherwise have to run around flying. Highly recommended to collect the boots. Looks like we got a camp up here. Alright, let's see here. Got a bunch of cliff racers.
gonna go and see if I can talk to these guys. We'll use calm humanoid on them if they attack. Probably going to attack. Of course they are. I don't know you. What do you want? A wise woman. I am counsel to my Ashland tribe, guardian of the secret knowledge, spiritual guide, and seer into the world unseen. I can tell you about the ancestors and about Ashland your customs. Alright, so nothing about this, they just attacked me. Um, let's go on and summon something to kill them. So we haven't. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, let's summon something. I don't know what yet. Let's see how much I got. 206. I wonder if we can get a golden saint. Got plenty of uh, magical potions to use up here. they both come out at the same time how much chance do I have zero percent right now uh, let's see 21 percent chance wow that's low all right I guess we'll go over store match or not There we go. Attack them. There you go. Watch it go ham. Just let these guys do what they do. <laughs> Come on over here. <laughs> Storm match or not, just take them down. Trying to be your friend, why did you just not attack me? Wow. Alright. Well, let's see where we're at. Now the question is, do we go south or do we go north now from here? Twelve PM needs to be six to eight, so we're gonna go on and hit five hours. Let's go up this way. We're, we're going to continue going south. I'm looking for rocks and something else. Some white capped rock, I think is what the lady said. Cast that. Thought I was gonna fall. Well, look there. That was easy. Cavern of the Incarnate. Alright, so there we go. It's south and a little bit east of Zerganapal. 
in case anyone's wondering. This little area here, Let's see what time it is, 5 p.m. still, so it's not going to let us in yet. In the dawn hour under Azura's star, the door is opened. Oh, well, I guess it turned to 6. And here we go. Moon and Star is a ring. Nereva reborn, incarnate. Your first three trials are finished. Now, two new trials lie before you. Seek the Ashlander Ashcans and the Great House Councils. Four tribes must name you Nerevarim. Three houses must name you Hortator. My servant, Nabane Mesa, shall be your guide. And when you are Hortator and Nerevarim, when you have stood before the false gods and freed the heart from its prison, heal my people and restore Morrowind. Do this for me and with my blessing. All right, so. Okay, we got ghosts all around us. Uh, so we got the moon and star from Azura. And we're going to put it on speech, craft, and personality. I mean, we don't really need the restoration. All right, let's talk to these uh, ghosts. Welcome, incarnate. I am Hort Led. I am not the one. I was not the one, but I wait and hope. Ask, and I shall tell you my story. I died 400 years ago in the last days of turmoil and unrest after the Empire came to Morrowind. I was a thinker and not a doer, and thought I was marked by the stars. I was not a hero. Take these things of mine. My bones won't complain. Sithis has been added to my inventory and Hort Ledge Rose. Alright. Let's check out Sithis and Hort Ledge Rose. Turn undead. Uh, neither one of those is that great. Throw it on real quick, since we can. Sithis is a book. Alteration, nice. All right. Peak Star, welcome, incarnate Moon and Star, reborn, Hortator, Nervarine, mourner of the tribe unmourned, redeemer of the false gods. I am Peak Star. I was not the one, but I wait and hope. Ask, and I shall answer if wisdom guides me. The tribunal and Dagothur have the unnatural abilities and lifespans of gods. But they gain these things by actions that mock the gods and misuse divine power. They are ambitious and unwise, and the consequences of these ungodly acts threatens all that li all that lives in Morrowind. You must go before the counselors of the great houses and satisfy them, for only the counselors of the great houses can name you Hortator. I do not know the settled people of the great houses, and I can offer you no counsel. You bear the moon and star, the ring of Nerevar. None may deny it. you are Nerevar reborn. The prophesied incarnate, the temple will know you as an enemy. Ordinators will mark you for death, and the tribunal faithful of the great houses will hate and fear you. The, do doubter, the doubters of the tribes will test your strength and doubt your honor. You will be known. You must prepare and be ready. Tribunal faithful of the great houses will hate and fear you. Okay. Even if I'm the patriarch of the temple? You must go before the Ashkans and the Waste Peoples and satisfy them, for the only for only the Ashkans of the four tribes can name you Nerevarim. Speak first with Sulmatul of the Urshalaku and with the wise with wise woman Nibani Mesa. For all the Ashlanders, they are wisest in the lore of the incarnate, and you have already shown Sulmatul proof of your worth. Not the one. I am a failed incarnate, so are all these who remain here with me in the cavern of the incarnate. I survived the blight, but I fell in the battle against an ash vampire. I could not master the arts of war, nor could I learn the ways of the great houses. They would not have accepted me as Hortator. Take these few poor things, they are no use to me. Embroidered belt, travel stained pants. Tribe unmourned. Pity, Dagather in the sixth house, all they do 
all they are is foul and evil, but they began in brightness and honor. And the cause of their fall is their loyal service to you, Lord Nerevar. You told Lord Dagoth to guard the profane tools beneath Red Mountain, and thus he was tempted. He did your bidding when he tried to keep these tools from the tribunal, and so he hates you, who betrayed him and the temple, uh, or and the tribunal who mocked his honor, attacked him, and stole the profane tools for their own use. Wisdom guides me. I will answer when I can, and with what I know, but the visions of Azura are often obscure. For two reasons. One, because the future cannot be known, and choices may always be made. Two, because truth is not clear or simple. Azura's riddle warns us to think long and hard. They force us to search carefully for truth and meaning, and not to rely on impulse and force. Profane tools. Kagernak, high priest of the Dwemer, forged enchanted artifacts to steal the power of the gods. Nerevar fought the Dwemer. To prevent this blasphemy, but Dagoth Ur took these tools to make himself a god, and the tribunal took these tools to make themselves gods. Though the tribunal sought to do good with their power, they are tainted by the same corrupt desires that moved Dagoth Ur. Alright. Cool. Travel stained pants and something else. Levitate. We've already got a levitate, so we're not worried about that. Embroidered belt. Willpower. Nice. Not needed. Anteria. Welcome, Incarnate. I am Anteria, and I was not the one, but I wait the wait and hope. Let's ask about her story. I was a holy crusader of the temple in the golden era of the Tribunate. I contributed substantially to the writings that were later suppressed by the temple, and now would be called Apocrypha. I followed the tribunal unquestionably to my regret. I never believed in the Nerevarine prophecies until it was too late. Take my humble possessions with my blessing. Alright, so we got a book and a mace. Where's the mace? Okay, cool. It's a Dwemer one. Damage speed and agility. It's not bad either if I was a mace user. Heavy armor. Alright. I don't use heavy armor, but okay. Let's see your story. I saw Morrowind fall to the Empire. I lived through the humiliation of the surrender, swore hatred and vengeance against Imperial and Tribunal alike for their betrayals. In later years, I despaired and turned to Red Mountain, where I grew old and died fighting the Blight and Red Mountain monsters. Take my weapons and armor. I have no further use for them. So we've got a spear and a curious. So, what is his spear and curious? Chitin spear, it looks like. Not very good. And a bone mold curious. Still not very good. Alright. Thanks for the free stuff, nonetheless. Alright. And Idrini Merofen. Your story? I lived in the late years of the Tribunate, and behind the scenes I helped us demoralize then repel the Akabiri invaders. I knew nothing of the Nerevarine or Dagothur until I took refuge with the Ashlanders. I died a fool trying to loot ruined Kogarin here. Take these. Maybe there's something in the world left worth stealing. Master Lockpick and Probe, those will be used. Cocoon Shodala. Welcome, Incarnate. I am Kog. Ko Konun Chodawa. I was not the one. What's your story? I was an Ashkan. I led my people against the Akaviri while the Cyrodiil dogs fled before them like Kagudi. I questioned. I quested deep into the strongholds and Red Mountain, cleansing the unclean things in their own blood. I did not heed the counsel of the women, and to my shame, I craved glory, but never saw my real enemies. My axe and boots are yours with my blessings. Alright, axe and boots. Those are really good boots, actually. In armor rating. Light armor. Um, pretty light. Endurance and speed. Not bad. And he had a axe. And a glass axe. That's actually really good as well, so... He gives you some pretty good stuff right there. And we talked to Hort. We're wearing his robe right now. Which we're not going to continue wearing his robe, but... Alright, let's see. We need to, uh... 
Now we need to make friends with the the uh, camps and the or the Ur the Ashlander camps and the horse tour according to Azura in that quite cool and very uh, very uh, not used too much cutscene in this game. So what we'll do is we'll return to the Urshalaku camp and talk to Sulmatul. And Nibani, if see if they have anything to say. Man, I don't really like this dude's robe, so I'll take that off too. Let's see, how do we get back? It's probably going to be quickest to just go to Cole, so we'll recall and uh, drop some of this stuff that we don't need. And we'll go back, so. Share your thoughts. I, um, I think I'll drop all this in here too, honestly. Is it the horny fist switch blade? Okay. I'll just drop all this stuff in here since it's all unique items. I wouldn't call this stuff legendary, but it's a uh, very unique. I think the Ash Vampire uh, gear is probably more legendary than most of this stuff, honestly. That we got from these fellas, since uh, that stuff's actually good. Not that all of this is bad, it's just most of it's not good, so. Drop that. Drop this ring, too. Not gonna need it, I don't think. Restoration on shops. Yeah, we'll drop the restoration. Some books that we'll sell too. Sit this, no reason to hold on to the book. Like always, and we'll go on back to uh, Aldrin. So I did keep uh, the Moon and Star Ring. Uh, the Bonus to most of your skill points isn't really ne all that necessary on any equipment. Um, but the Moon and Star Ring being part of the main quest is very important. So it, it is considered a uh, legendary artifact, I think. Or at least it would be in my book. So, But you also have to have it for the main quest as well to show the Ashkons and uh, the great houses so where would you like to go and let's check this to make sure that we didn't get kicked out of the temple that would kind of suck if we did all right we're still patriarch of the temple doesn't look like we got kicked out of anything either so
And we're back again, this time as the newly anointed uh, Nerevarine. Let's go in here and talk to uh, Sumatul. Probably nothing. You have passed the third trial before you lies the fourth and fifth. I have spoken with Nebani Mesa, and I know these trials. You wish to be called Urshalika, Urshalaki Nerevarine, but first, would you hear the counsel of Sulmatul? Good. First, I would give you warning. When you are called Nerevarine, the word must spread and many must hear. Your enemies will hear and come seeking your blood, and such friends as you may have among the great houses, those who heed the words of the temple, they may forget their love for you. If you have business with the people of the houses and temple, you may wish to conduct that business first before you are named Nerevarine. Second, I would tell you, seek the counsel of wise woman Nabani Mesa, for you are an outlander and ignorant of the ways of our people. Nabani Mesa can tell you of the other tribes and of their ways and of their Ashkans. If you do not know these things, you will make many mistakes and waste precious time. That is my counsel. Now, if you wish to be named Urshalaki Nerevarin, we may speak of these things. Alright, let's go on and get named to Urshalaki Nerevarin. Very well. You wish to be called Nerevarin. I know you and am disposed to you to do so. But first, we must speak of need and duty. Before I name you the Nerevarin, you must understand why a war leader is needed. So you may tell others, and before I name you Nerevarine, I must see that you know your duty. Only then, we have spoken of these things, shall you be called Nerevarine. Need and duty. Know the words of the prophecies. The curse of Dagothur and the sixth house threatens our land. The false gods lie and offer false hope of protection. You bear the moon and star of Nerevar. Azura's hand is upon you. These are the proofs you must show to all people as Urshalaki Nerevarine. Alright, so we got to protect people from Dagothur and the false gods, which is going to be Vivek, Amalexia, and Sofa Seal. You shall be Nerevarine of all the tribes and Hortator of all the great houses. You shall eat the sin of the unmourned house and free the false gods. You must defeat the Sixth House and Dagothur. You must free the Tribunal from their curse. This is the burden of prophecy. You shall be. This shall be your duty as Urshalaki Nerevarine. False gods. You have learned the lies of the Tribunal and the false god. The false hope they offered of protection from Dagothur. We have heard the priests' own words of the Apocrypha, and we know them to be true. We have heard the words of the dissident priests, and we know them to be true. The false gods have broken their promises and have taken up the tools of the enemy. This is a great evil and a great danger. They got there. Okay, we know that one already. So, are we going to be your Nerevarine? Before my hearth and kin, and before the people of the Waste, I name you Urshalaki Nerevarine, war leader of the Urshalaki, and protector of the people. In token of this, I teach you, I give you the teeth, which shall be a sign to all Dunmer that you are the Nerevarine, and that the Urshalaki shall follow you, in all things, even unto death. Until the enemy is defeated, or until you are dead, or until you give this back into my hand. Teeth of the Urshalaki has been added to my inventory. All right. So now we are the Nerevarine, the Urshalaki Nerevarine. Let's see, what are the teeth? Okay, so it's an amulet. Constant effect, reduced paralysis. Not bad. Um, but we have a better amulet, so I'm not going to be wearing it. And we need to go talk to... Nabani Mesa. And... We're going to talk to her. Well, um, hmm. we're actually going to talk to her in the next one. So, in the next episode, we'll be working to become the Nerevarine for the rest of the Ashland Ashlander camps. Uh, so, I hope to see you there. Thanks this for watching. One honors us. Please.